How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. If you've been following along, you probably remember me posting a video where I diagnosed a bad blower motor on a Heil package unit. Well, today's the day. I've got the replacement motor here. I'm gonna go out there, get it swapped out, make sure everything's running good, and we should be good to go. Let's do some work. This video is sponsored by RLS, original, patented, proven, and by Diversitech, helping you simplify your work. This stuff right here, it's uh, I guess I think it's pronounced crow oil, uh, arrow crow oil, and it's actually manufactured uh, right here in Nashville, Tennessee. I've actually been to their plant and uh, worked on some of their ACs. It's been years ago when I worked for a different company, but um, but yeah, they're, they're local to me. And this stuff, this stuff's amazing. Yep, Nashville, Tennessee, right there. Probably can't see it, but. I'm just going to use my little knippet pliers. These things are great. There's really no wrong way to use these things. They're fantastic. My favorite pliers. I have two, two sizes. They're awesome. I might as well inspect the heat exchanger while we're here. Pretty sure this has a stainless steel, but it never hurts to inspect it while you've got the uh, assembly out. Always like to take a marker and mark where the uh, the bolt is on the on the band, and then also where the band is on the motor, so I don't have to try to remember for the new one. I always like to make sure my new motor matches up my old one. Never trust anybody to do their job. It's a three quarter horsepower, six amps, 1050 RPM. That's all looking good. Rotation looks good. It's literally identical motor, so should be good. Remember, the bar is lined up right on the edge of this connector plate. And the band was about a quarter of an inch below. It's so right about there. It's gonna be super loose until we get it snug. 
and then things will start to fall in place. So what I do is I just get it somewhat snugged up, readjust everything, make sure my alignment's right. That looks pretty good. And just continue tightening it up until everything's good. See if we can pop this little, where'd it go? Right here. There we go. So far, fan is not turning on, so that's great. Alright, so now if I disconnect the 24 volts from the fan, make sure it turns off. Beautiful. All right, well, that went pretty smooth. Um, as you can tell, everything started up just fine. Um, I cycled it on and off several times, amped the motor out, and looking good, no problems. The only thing I wish that I had and I forgot at the shop was that special tool that I was gonna use to be able to plug into the motor and basically simulate all the different speeds that it can uh, operate in just to be able to check and make sure everything is you know running right but um unfortunately i just don't, I, I forgot it at the shop today so uh anyhow but cycle the fan multiple times um actually went inside turned the heat on cycled that everything's looking good so 
it was a pretty straightforward uh, swap out there. I could have probably swapped out just the module, right? And not the motor itself, but it's under warranty. They give me the whole thing and it's really not that big of a deal to pull the whole thing out, right? Um, it's a little bit more work, but I've always been told that it's always best to just go ahead and swap out the whole motor ECM assembly uh, as a pair, if, if you have it. So that's what I did, but pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, when you've got a, a shaft that's a little bit rusty like that, using some type of uh, penetrant obviously helps. Um, I actually have a special tool, a puller, uh, that I could have used if it was really bad, but um, typically, especially if it's indoors like that, a little bit of uh, penetrant oil and you know, using your crescent wrench, kind of wiggling it back and forth usually breaks it free, no problem. So anyway, that's it. Everything's running good. She's happy, I'm happy. Now I just gotta take that old motor back to get my credit for the warranty and uh, this job is done. So anyway, that's the end of the video. Give it a thumbs up. If you guys like what I'm doing, subscribe to the channel and uh, see you in the next one.